Hi there, and welcome to another EXT scheduler webcast. Today I'm not going to be that long, uh, I'm just going to try to demo some of the stuff that I've been working on recently. Uh, I'm sorry if I didn't make much sense in the previous webcast, but I was just too damn tired actually from uh, a long nights of hacking. Uh, today I'll try to do better. Uh, so as you can see I've changed the way the grid looks f for this demo. Uh, I think it looks looks pretty slick. Uh, if you don't agree then I blame my, my color blindness. But let's check out some, some of the new stuff. Uh, as you can see here, if you s see the, the clock tool tooltip, you'll see that it updates with 15 minute increments. This is now based on the current view that you're in. So for the one day view uh, I've assigned a 15 minute time resolution. For the one week view uh, there's a one hour resolution. For the six week view there's just a, a day and so on. So you, are now, you now have the, the full power to, to decide what time resolution you want to use in each view. Which is kind of nice. Uh, but the main thing I want to show today is uh, how to add your own custom business rules to uh, the interaction with the grid. So uh, right now there's three different ways you can interact with the grid. It's like the drag and drop, it's the resize, and it's the, the drag creation process. So. Of course, you 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 need a, a way to hook in your own uh, rules once these uh, creation or modification processes are running. So let's just look at some code and see how how we could do this. So all the all the modification uh, you can do with this grid and the creation of uh, new items then. Uh, all that functionality is being supplied through plugins, and uh, these are the plugins that I've, I'm, I'm assigning to the current uh, demo grid. And uh, as you can see here, there's the drag creator, uh, which does the cr actual creation of new items. There's the resize, and there's the drag and drop. And you can see here, it's it's I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, you you pass a validator function and a validator function scope. To, to to these plugins and it, there's also one being passed to this one and they're almost the same uh, slight slight changes so let's go back to the grid and, and, and check check out some stuff uh, let's say you have uh, your C++ consultants and your Java consultants that can be hired for uh, say 30 minutes or less or, or more I mean so and may but maybe your SAP guys are on on on, uh, on high demand, so uh, you won't you don't want to let them go without having uh, a four-hour minimum commitment. So uh, and if, if if you check out the code here for the for my is event valid, you'll see uh, that I've 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 created exactly that uh, that restriction. So. It actually it, it just compares this, the the duration to uh, just a, a minimum amount of time that I'm set up, which just it's pretty silly. It just returns 240 minutes if it's an SAP person or 30 minutes otherwise. So it's it's very very simple. So all I do is I pass this is event valid to to the the, the plugin. So that's pr that's pretty simple to set up. And now, if you want to see how this looks in, in, in w when you use it, uh, so if I want to create a new item, I just click and I drag, and you can see the stop sign indicating that uh, uh, your event validation function hasn't gone through. And then you see it approaches, and you go pass, and it's okay. And if you go, if you go below the four-hour mark, it's uh, it's going to stop you. So you won't be able to create. And the same goes for resize. So if I try to go out under four hours, you'll see it's blocked and then it's okay again. So that's 
how you set that up and uh, I think it, it, it's pretty easy to to customize it to get it the way you want it uh, and, and that's pretty much what I uh, had in mind for for this webcast uh, I've, I've got lots of more webcasts coming which will show you more in depth uh, of the code that drives uh, the data behind this uh, grid uh, I just need some time to prepare it and clean it up to make it uh, understandable so I hope this is uh, has been of some value to you uh, please leave feedback in the ext forums or on my blog or wherever um, and I'm off to sleep now bye bye